Hey guys and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. If you missed the last episode, we made our way through the monastery and we are now here in the crash now. We'd have a small problem. We had a donation, so I had to throw away all my amazing gear on my lovely cleric. So we kind of have nothing good. So, we will fix that <laughs> somehow. Let's start off though by having a little explore. Is there no odious substance not smeared on this delivery? I'd heard this plane was disgusting, but I didn't think it would be like this. Disgusting. All right, there must be something worthwhile on this plane, or your kind wouldn't be here. Most metals here fold like istix, much like istix themselves. But if you're so keen to extol their virtues, you can pay accordingly. Well, she's very standoffish. You've got to appreciate that. Um, what does she have, though? Don't really want that. That's a short sword. Uh, no. I can't use that. Got a pike, a glaive, defender flail. Hmm. The witch breaker. You gain advantage of attack rolls against concentrating creatures. That does sound really good, but again, I can't use it. Gloves of Dexterity would be nice. Range attacks, oh. Your range spell attacks are made as melee spell attacks when you're adjacent to a hostile creature. Ooh. When I'm aware of spell... Okay, so we'll take this. I'm going to take all of them. I don't necessarily need all of them, but... Uh, there is a plus one to armor class and same as long as they have lightning charges. Mm, we don't have anything that gives us lightning charges, though, do we? Oh, no, man, I'm already wearing it. Don't care about momentum, so let's put the vital conduit. Yep. Gloves. I've got the brace of defense, and I just picked up the daredevil gloves, which could be pretty good for my character, to be honest. Because currently I'm just rocking these. So, yeah, let's put. Or do I do the gloves of dexterity? Boost my armor class up by a huge amount. Because right that's good for my monk. Still yeah, let's stick with the gloves of dexterity then. Everything. I'm happy with that. And you know, we'll wear this ring just for now. Just in case. I would love to get rid of that sword though. I would love to get rid of that sword. She doesn't really have anything for me. So where are we? Is that blood? No, never mind. Okay, good, good, good. Well, hiding now doesn't matter. I need to go on the other side, though, because that's where the corpse was of that woman. Right, so let's go back this way. What is up here? What? Oh, they're not here. They're just still. Warrior Quen. Leave me alone. The watch must remain undisturbed. Okay, Quen. <laughs> Very standoffish, but I understand, I guess. Do you remember that story told as Yank? Ooh, 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 ooh. What do we have around here? Because I never explored this place before. Still breathing, despite everything. We are still breathing, you are right. So what do we have here? Take the short bow. Nothing in the pouch. Yeah, we'll take that stuff. That's why you're here. And that's just a bedroll. Cliffside. So where does that lead? Let's figure this out quick. Because I don't think I've been this way. I have not been this way before. 
Where do those vines go? I wish you, I wish it was on PC so I could like turn the camera. That'd be so ideal right now. Alright, the rest of my team can just rock there for a minute. Yeah, what the hell is this bit? This is literally a whole new area of this place I've never been. Although this is ticked off, so where the hell am I? Oh, okay, okay. Right, so it's just one big circle. Understood. Let's head back then, and let's jump over. Beautiful, follow me guys. And I'm assuming there was nothing this way. That being said, this isn't all blacked off on my screen, so maybe there is something this way. Yeah, it's just a big old circle. Okay. Let's get back inside then. Um, I guess it's just inside the crash. Excellent. So we dealt with that. So. Wretched thing. Pull yourself together. Let's go this way. Hesitating. My instructions were clear. Because... Because they don't make sense. Killing each other like this. It's stupid. Or for you... Silence! It seems your childish prattling is attracting an audience. You fight again. This time, daggers only. And to the death, as instructed. Who wants to challenge this sniveling Istar? Um, oh, yeah, stand back and relish the blood show. I've been practicing every night, Savage. Let me have a go. I, this poor dude. I refuse. There has to be a better way. You dropped your guard on your weak side and were completely open to an offhand counter. Move him out of the way. We've wasted enough time already. <laughs> Awesome. Can we talk to the teacher? You are well on your way to being gate food. Do Did you see that? The look on Varl's face when the blade went in. She's crazy. I love fighting with daggers. It's so personal. You're close enough to see the light go out behind their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I thought they were crazy. That might be the craziest one yet. Let's talk to the teacher. Did you enjoy our little demonstration? A mere taste of the power Vlakif commands. Oh, Vlakif. Um, oh. Why was the boy refusing to fight? I have no interests in whatever delusional beliefs the boy harbored. The illithids infecting this region are not to be reasoned with. They are to be exterminated. That we can agree on. If the boy was too stupid to realize this, his death is a mercy for the warriors next to him. You've got to love gift culture. Alright, who is this dude? Unless you want to be set up as target practice, I suggest you leave. Istic. I'm just if I get my this monk to talk to them. Interesting. Go quietly, kin. The Savage here does not like to be interrupted. Okay. Still breathing. I guess that's kind of an answer. It's not a good one, but it's kind of an answer. Alright, so nothing down there. In fact, could we take that? Hey, nice. Okay. Thought we'd get something. Let's deal with the 
quibble here. What if they don't find the weapon? Do we even know it? An istic? But but you can't be here. I can't be seen with you. That's your cry. Quanny Rel, the Inquisition have more to worry about than who you talk to in the corridors. This is true. Uh, intimidation, tell me the Inquis Inquisition's purpose or make a mince pop of your younglings. Oh, we better pass this. Oh, get in. The Inquisition are here on Queen Blackhiff's orders. They're searching for a weapon that could finally destroy the Gake. Uh, Quanny Rel? Keep your mouth shut. You're going to get us in deep, Skva. Huh, <laughs> okay. They're the darkness at the edge of Queen Blackhead's light. It's easy to get lost in their shadow. When they find the weapon, they'll go, and things here can be normal again. Right. It's a lot of ifs I'm hearing. So, we have the egg over here. I don't know how we're going to get, to be honest. Still alive. So I'm thinking nice. we'll drop a quick save. We'll pop an invisibility potion, I think. I've got to have something like that, right? Bunch of wine, lightning resistance. Bark skin, I must have invisibility. Do I not? I'm on that scroll of invisibility. No. Sick. Okay. Do I have anything? Anything that can help me here at all? Oil of accuracy. A shocking grasp. Vampiric touch. Okay, it lasts for ten turns. That's not really that much. Conditions look right, but quite empty without all the other eggs. Okay, so I can jump across to here. Where is the egg? Oh, it's down there. Conditions look right. It is forbidden to approach the egg, kid. You will respect our rules. I will respect my promise. Don't you want to fight with your brothers and sisters? Um, what I'd also love to do. Is go here. That's a friendly looking shadow. Oh no. How did that happen? Oh. Okay. Okay. There must be a better way to do that. Um, right, let's reload. Right. In we go. Quite empty without Now, how the fuck do we do this? Oh, I'm assuming I go this way. Huh. Awesome. Just awesome. Not enough space. What if I do give the Yankee jump? Oh, so I can go over there. Alright, get on myself. We've got to do this super quick. Oh, for fuck's sake. You will respect our rules. Alright, new plan, we're going to do it at the end. It's a nice thought, right? Okay. Can't give up now. 
out we go. That was a good one. And the person I talked to is down here. Yeah, here There's we go. Parasites nearby. You should take a closer look. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? A bit both, honestly. Because you never know, right? Um, is that thing's host still alive? A very specific question. One that speaks of a more personal motivation for asking. I do I need help. To choose. You have a parasite of your own. Correct. Um, yeah, unfortunately, yes. You must be desperate to seek my aid. Tell me, how long have you been infected? Um... Yeah, longer than you'd expect seromorphosis to take, and with none of the symptoms. Fascinating. So you're conscious of your infection, but showing no signs of cerebral impairment. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the <laughs> Zathisk. I will ensure you're cured. Well, okay. Um, and what? And the Zaykith is a what? The apparatus at the top of those stairs. Quickly now. Time is of the essence. Well, I guess we're going. Let's jump in and do this ourselves this time. We usually send this Lazelle. Is strange. Made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. You feel your parasite stir. Do not fear. My experience in operating this machine is unparalleled. There is nothing on any plane stronger than a Zathis for curing unwanted afflictions. Um, lie down in the device. We don't care if it hurts us. We look so stoic cold. and handsome. It's warm, sapped by the cold metal seat. The machine awakens. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. Excellent. Layers of magic weave themselves tightly around your head. The tadpole squirms and contracts. It's trying to hide. You realize the device is hunting your parasite, but it's doing so blindly. Without direction, your faculties could be permanently damaged. Your no way. skull groans and bends under the pressure. Then, agony. Uh, save and throw. Oh, we got my swan. Okay, we'll do it. Through waves of torment, you search for the parasite's lurking presence. The device searches too. You sense its hunger, its craving. It wants the tadpole, but maybe something more. That's it. Ignore the pain. Think of the tadpole. Think of it purged. She's trying to extract it, isn't she? Burrows deeper, sinking its teeth into your brain's exposed tissue. It sucks greedily. You feel yourself ebbing away, while the parasite only grows stronger. It's evolving. Of course it is. Um, right, another saving throw. We can do it, come on. So good. That's it. You're almost there. The Zathisk never fails. The device yearns for the creature, for every part of you tainted by its presence. You will be 
consumed. The tadpole quivers. A different magic is building within it. This one is ancient. Rotten. No. No more. Um, clearing say it no. Which is going to use what? So that'd be cleric class. We'll get a lot from that to be fair. Same and throw minus one. We can use constitution. Let's do this one then. And you know what? We'll throw in some resistance. Oh, that's not enough. Got some big rolls as well, but. The Tantfall senses your interference. It withdraws, coiling the putrid magic tightly within. Unable to find its target, the device unleashes indiscriminately through your body. You feel joints breaking, your blood vessels rupturing, your body crumples, your heart shudders. Enough! I'm glad they interfered. <laughs> swims back into focus you are intact no longer whole the tadpole arches in satisfaction it lives on and we caused a big old mess no. Your parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. Um, yeah. Your Zaithith tried to kill me and failed. The Zaithisk does not fail. The only variable in this experience was you and your parasite. And I will uncover how this happened. Wait here. I will gather my tools. That was too close. You were lucky I was there to save you once again. Yeah, sorry. It's like hot breath. But whatever semblance of life once powered the Zaethisk is gone. Right. Is that woman in here? No, she isn't. Locked in. That's really good news. We're going to take that. Anything else here for me to steal? Nope. Okay, so we're going to pop the parasites. Oh, I have two. What can I take? Creature suffering falling damage because of your actions taken additional. Oh, okay. Push anything, anyone back six meters. That would be good as well. What do I have for here? Here. I don't want to do that. Contra violent shield around yourself and ally grunt and target 10 hit hit points. That sounds so good. I'm going up this path currently. Yeah, I've done these ones. Okay. Uh, let's take force tunnel then. I really don't want to take this, but I've got it to get to this one. Okay, transfuse health, we'll take it. There we go. And then next time I can take this. Oh shit, there's loads here. Parasite brimming with magic. Take it. We're about to be uber powerful. Because this one's amazing. Contra violence shield, so this will hurt a lot of people. What is this? Invest a creature with power that heals it when it attacks, but also makes it vulnerable to all damage. Ugh. Ability drain, I don't really want. So maybe we start with this one. Psionic overload. Because then that opens up the path here. Because that's really good stage fright. Once per me make attack with the attack, reduce that ability by one. Ooh. And that's locked up there. Okay. How does my dude look? Still pretty normal? Okay. I guess that's something. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. 
let's rest up. Probably not a smart idea now I think about it, but we'll figure it out. Shadow Heart doesn't have anything to say. So let's sleep. Ah. Oh, now Shadow Heart has something to tell me. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. Uh, well, now I'm intrigued. Do continue. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. Twice over, in fact. You supported me against Lazel. I may not have survived that night without you. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. Okay, here we go. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior. Head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. The plot Sometimes thickens. I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. Um, do you ever think she'll relent and make you a dark justicia? I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate. Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion, a distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come. Well, okay. Um, well, that's a load of nothing. I'm not sure why you bothered telling me that. She's gonna hate me. Can I now leave, please, and fight the gift? Right, let's get out of here. Don't give me trouble now. Smashed it. And these things oh, hi. Why are they all here? Time That's not good. Oh. Not good at all. <laughs> Uh, we'll do a stagger. Mm, that's annoying. Where do I go from here? Uh, where do you go? That's a great question, my dude. That's honestly a phenomenal question. Let's start with a spiritual weapon. And then... A ray of sickness would be amazing. Okay, they counterspelled, but we did some Sonic Backlash, right? I guess not. Cool, cool, cool. Another day, another fight. Oh, we're gonna rage. Excellent. That's all I can do at the moment, right? I mean, I could do a pommel strike. No, I can't. Never mind. Can't spell and a sonic backlash will take. Okay, awesome. 
Fantastic, love that. Dude, they're messing my guy up. So now we've got to fight our way out of the crash. Fantastic. That's cool. Um, how do we want to start this? The third level ice knife onto this one. Excellent. And then if I do a quicken spell, I could then theoretically do another one. And take two out. Alright. Of course they healed him. Oh, we've got Grameshkas now as well. Sick. Well, that's cool. Beat the teacher up. Love it. Go again. Excellent. And then as no. I just want to do a normal unarmed strike on you. Kicked in the back of the head. Uh we're gonna start with a mass healing word. Now where are my abilities? I don't want force tunnel. Survive instincts. Nope, that's not the one, Sonic. Overload. Shield of Faris. Do it on our amazing Bear Heart. Awesome. And we'll come in here. Can't take the Grimish Scrap yet, but that's okay. Dude, they're desperate to kill us. So desperate to kill us. Um, right, next up, we are going to do a very simple Ray of Frost. Or not. It's a big mirror image miss. God damn it. God damn it. All right, my little monk. Did we just kill it? Oh, we did. One shot. Need to find a way forward. Yeah, we'll close the distance. Is ever easy. Such a good hit. My poor little cleric is just dying. Where did they ju Oh, Missy stepped over there. Alright, well, let's come this way. And we'll do a bone chill. Or not. So close. Alright, so we've only got one left. And I don't have a ranged attack, do I? So I guess I could throw something? I must have something I could throw. Yeah, just throw the bottle, I guess. Or not. That works. Damn, that's a big hit. Okay, small steps. And one more. Beautiful. This place is going to be so much fun to try and fight our way through. Feel that one later. Yeah, we really will. Let's see what we can loot. 
Uh, send to Danton. No, a lot of this stuff we're going to send to camp. I'm just worried about trying to carry everything. Because there's a lot of dead enemies. What's the Grimishka got? Okay. Coins, we love coins. What about in the middle here? We have you. Uh, we do it. Oh, yep. So we're going to take that. Because that is perfect for our wizard. Because these weapons we will take out when we get some, we can sell them. Because we can just keep running to and from camp. That can go to camp. Uh, ancient grudges. If you can't this amulet as advantage, it has your saving throw. Ooh. Okay. Don't think we need it though. And then there's you. The good thing is we are replenishing our food so quick. Excellent. What do you have? Uh, what does this say? It's got a bunch of nonsense. Come on. Could have. Is that it? I guess so. Okay. Good, good, good. What is this way? Nothing. We do have a pouch here, though. Don't take the large bottle, never mind. Of course you pick it up. Ooh. Come pick up the booze. Thank you. As I'm stuck. Come on, round the corner. What's in this little tiny room here? Those beds look harder than a brick hammer. And twice as full of bugs. I mean, I guess it's proper army training, right? More shit here we can loot. Send that to our monk. Anything in the desk? Nope. Fruit porridge. We'll take some fruit porridge. Oh. Little wizard. Okay. Are these guys going to hurt us? No, they don't give a toss. Interesting. In fact, no, we're going to use our healing potions because I've got so many still. I've also got this, haven't I? Good old long pig. We got inspiration for eating a human. You love to see it. What does my journal now say? Just says go to moonrise. They almost failed and killed us. Yep. That is pretty much it. So. There are a few more things we could do. We all will. So let's drop a quick save because I don't want to die. And this fight up here is very difficult. What I'm also thinking is we'll come here and we'll sell her a bunch of goods. Back so soon? Yeah, I need you to buy some stuff, please. And I would love to buy your resurrection scrolls I just saw. Here they are. That's a lot. I'll buy them too. Right. Have you got anything that I don't need? You must do. So we'll get rid of the large bottle. Whatever that stuff is. Get rid of momentum. Braces of defense. I don't think they're good for anyone. My monk's got ones that do extra damage, which I'm more happy with. 
the Daredevil gloves. I do like these. I do like these, but I don't know if they're going to be very helpful at the moment. Baneful Strikers probably won't be either, so let's drop those as well. Get rid of that, because I don't think I need it, but you never know. I don't need the short bow. The Graceful Cloth will keep. I don't need this random bottle I picked up. I don't need any of the arrows, actually, so they can go. Excellent. The gift will love having them. Okay, is there anything else here I don't need? That stuff all looks valuable. Okay. Okay. You know what we're gonna... No, because we just sold her a bunch of stuff, so she hasn't got that much money anymore. So... We were wandering here. We're going to quick save. And I'm going to walk in and see what happens. Please, Chitrai, I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the astral prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us... Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chirai. You heard him. Go! Go. Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. Yeah, you tell her. All right. Not a public forum. Yep, bye guys. I wonder if there's a way to seal this door. There probably isn't, right? How many do we have? Not many. And we've got those two. All right, so this is doable. An istic in my crash. You are one of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. Don't tell her anything. Not quite then. Um, what do I want? Yeah, I was granted entry by your sentries. They told me to seek the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor? On what grounds? Uh, my grounds. I have proof of the Illithid invasion. It might help your Inquisitor to rethink his priorities. We have all the proof we need. And it has not moved his resolve. Of we know course not. Infected flock to Moonrise Towers. I reported the gathering masses back to Tunarath. In response, they sent an Inquisitor. Instead of ordering an assault, we were told to join in this mad hunt for an ancient relic. Meanwhile, Illithid sickness spreads right in front of us. Correct, it does, but there are bigger issues at hand. Um, what does this weapon look like? It is small, angular, metal, adorned with Tiersu script, stolen by true soul heretics. You realize she seeks the artifact you carry. What was that look? You know something. Do you have it? Um, deception, I don't know anything about it. We're going to fail, aren't we? Favorable beginnings, great. Oh. Sick. Then stop wasting my time, Istic. Rude, but okay. You are one of the mercenaries we engaged, are you not? Um what's the reward again? A fortune in gold, vouched for by our queen herself. I have business to attend to. Return with the weapon, or do not return at all. Charming. Right. And there's no way for me to get through this shit, is there? Oh, I kind of want to just attack her. I 
assume right. you are not stupid enough to return empty-handed. So, give me the... I'll gladly see you try. Hataka! Hataka! Oh, here goes nothing. You've made a grave mistake. We are going to try a stunning strike. Saved, not ideal, so try a topple. Beautiful. What comes easy these days. Right, what are these lovely chaps saying? Pack tactics. Okay. So ideally we need to try and split them up. So let's do a quickened spell. That won't work. Let's do an ice knife. And then we'll do a second level magic missile. Torment. And we almost have it dead. Sharlak, God's a betrayer. And we are fearful. Sick. <laughs> oh, cool. Great round, guys. Great round. Awesome. Just awesome. Oh, this has gone to hell. We're all fearful, really. Alright. We go again. Right, we have it down here. So let's take out these little shits first. Uh, we'll try stagger. No way. Still on my feet. How is it still alive? Okay, bear heart. What do I have? Unrelenting ferocity. Nope. Lacerate would be good. Or she saved being lacerated. We saved Psychic Rend. Good. Um, we're going to do a third level Inflict Wounds. Look at that. And then we're going to get that Spirit Weapon up. Right next to her. Dope. Um, and you know what? I think we're going to do Magic Missile at the highest level possible. Mm. We're going to come here. No, we're not. We're going to back up a little bit. We're going to do a Quicken Spell. And we're going to do it again because it never misses. There we go. Go as far as you can. Excellent. And then can we topple you? Oh, nearly. Never nearly. Death won't take me yet. And she never got to call for reinforcements. You love to see it. We can reach just about. We're going to move in. Again, inflict wounds. We'll do it at second level because it's a, such a powerful spell. That fight went so good. Okay. No more psychic rent, so that's nice. Uh, we've got a crate here. Anything? No, it's not even searchable. Cool. What's this on the table? Read it all. Nothing in the desk. Anything up here? 
Apparently not. Oh, she's got some good stuff though. The gift shard, the Nogri rolls, we'll add this to wares. Look at this, you're getting a plus two to attack bonuses. We're not a gift Yankee though, so... We'll send it to Danton for now, just to hold on to. Map of the Sword Coast. My people have scouted well beyond the temple. Yes, they have. At the words, mirror image is amazing. Awesome. Now, where's that little red gem we just picked up? Here we go. Get it in there. Who would be? Oh, it is you. Make haste. We have business to conduct. Well, okay then. Can't go to camp here. What I can do, though, take another short rest. And this is another fight that is insanely hard. This place is even more foreboding than the rest of the crash. That being said, this one was easier than the last one. At least in my first playthrough. This inquisitor sounds like a real piece of work. Do you think he'll answer our questions? Probably not. Been that simple before. I don't know why it would be now. Yeah, probably not, dude. If I have to be honest with you. Got another little pouch here. Anything good? Of course not. Alright, Drenadin, my trusty drow, let's push forward. But, we're going to do this in the next episode, if you haven't... Yeah, we're going to do this in the next episode, so if you have enjoyed, please drop the uh, video a like, it helps me amazingly. If you're new and you're not subscribed but you'd like to, that'd also be amazing, and hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.